been an interesting offseason to say the least for you guys. Uh, just what stood out to you the most about this group? Uh, just being able to come together as a group. It's been a wild ride, like you said, and uh, start off probably, I don't know, about seven to nine guys in that workout room May 28th when I got here. Today, I believe we have 23. So there's a lot of positive talk throughout the school. A lot of leaders have stepped up, and I'm really excited to see what we're going to do this week. How are you feeling about the offense at this point? I believe we're going to be firing all our cylinders. We had some pieces of the puzzle to put together. We've got two new offensive linemen joining us for this next game. So things should be a lot smoother in the pocket, a lot cleaner. We should be able to get rocking and rolling with our skill guys. How are you feeling about the defense at this point? Defense looks good. We had that scrimmage Thursday night against Melbourne, and I saw a lot of good things with flying to the ball. Uh, we have some alignment issues to fix. I believe we've got those pretty much wrapped up, and uh, we're just going to be able to fly to the football this week. How do you feel like the guys are really embracing the the challenge and the move from eight-man to 11-man? They're hungry for it. I mean, they're just competitors at the end of the day. Um, they've got that fire in them. They're not going to let anything hold them down, whether it's three extra guys on the field or our lack of experience in the 11 man world. They're, they're hungry, ready to go, ready to pop some kids in the mouth and uh, they're going to do just fine. What are some other areas you want to address before Friday? Uh, just be more disciplined. We're learning right now as a team, just how to have those good habits every single day. Good habits builds discipline, discipline builds success. And that's just something that uh, we were lacking when I first got here it's slowly becoming better. I think we could do a little bit better, and and I think that will allow us to kind of get an edge on our competitors. For you personally, just how just how cool has this experience been for you? you know, now taking over at a program that's had a little bit of history, but hadn't played football for very long. But how cool is it, kind of you know, so to speak, kind of write your chapter on this for Israel County football? It's awesome. I get to learn right along with the kids. I mean, it's. You get to take a step back every day and and know that some of these guys have maybe never stepped on a football field before. We've got some that were on that eight man team. We have some that's never played a sport before. So it's been really rewarding to step back on that level and just teach the game of football its fundamentals and basics. And uh, it's really helped me grow as a coach, being able to be with some guys that are that are new to it and and want to be successful and want to write their their name and stamp on the history of this football program.